Yeah, it's Vinny. Yeah, but don't answer it. Hi, Vinny. Uh, no actual set plans. You have planned spending time with your husband. He treats her like his personal slave. Oh, stop. Hey, King. Advantage. Oh, so we drink last night. What's that? Vinny, Wendy is not your doormat. Oops. We're all clear on what today's for. It's a knowledge forum, and that's exactly what it needs to be. It's not a marketing exercise. We're not trying to prove anything. All I'm looking for is a free and frank exchange of ideas for the future of this hospital. So just how free and frank do you want us to be? Free, frank, and constructive. No whinging, please. All right, so we can say anything we like as long as it's positive, but it's not a marketing exercise. Look, I think TK is concerned about some of the issues that we've been facing in ED. Are they for discussion or not? Yeah, of course. As long as the DHB don't get the impression we're not coping. Hi. Just over there, please. Meaning we don't want to make senior management look incompetent. Harper, I hope I can count on you to speak up. Yes, of course. I know you'll be diplomatic. Oh, that's the only way. Where do we start? Oh, I remember getting in the lift. That's helpful. Do you remember where you got out? No, it's all a bit of a blur. Well, it must be in the nurses' station. Oh, well, that's easy then. Not easy. There's one on every level. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, find out where Wendy is rostered. But that's where Vinnie left the note for her. That's where we were. Oh, hello. Good morning. Glad you're here. I want to talk to you about yesterday. Oh, can I wait? Your old man wants a word. Hi. You wanted to talk to me? No. Harry! Where are you going? Uh, level two, mate. Go on. You know you want to. No, I can't afford it. <laughs> well, but I can. It's enormous. Are you still going to love me when I'm the size of a house? You're sharing with me. Am I? I am so generous. <laughs> That's my Lucy. Well... Those two still seem to be going strong. Yeah. Come on, Nick. Look, it's their business, not ours. That's my point. Alex's sexuality is Lucy's business. Okay, so when did you start becoming the top to judge, eh? Look, you've done all you can, all right? Just let him be. Hey. Hey. Oh, this isn't all for me. <laughs> this is okay, I'm not judging. What are you guys up to today? Day off. I don't even know why we're here. <laughs> Cheap breakfast, that was the plan. Yeah, and then what? Nothing exciting, I'm on a budget. Oh, you two should go hang out with Nick and Bella. I mean, Bob's is good for cheap entertainment. Can we? I would love to see him. Sure. Yay. Ooh, be careful, mate, she's getting clucky. Okay, are you kidding? Because he is way cluckier than I am. Tell them how many kids you want. Five. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. If you're trying to scare me off, it's not working. Welcome, everybody. It's good to see you all. Today is about sharing ideas and expertise with the aim of future-proofing Shorten Street. We're looking ahead to the next 10, 20, 30 years. But looking ahead to the next 10 minutes, let's start by enjoying some of those delicious refreshments. Thank you. Hey, that guy over there. Which one? The other Māori fella in the room. Oh, that's uh, Mark Māori. He's on the council. He was back home a while ago, <clears throat> making big noises about public health. Made good friends with your Auntie Queenie, actually. Oh, yeah? Did you go talk to him? Mm, yeah, madam. Now? He'd be a good man to have on your side. No sides here. We're all one big happy team, aren't we? What do you think they're talking about? I bet anything's not the state of ED. Give them a chance. With Rachel controlling the agenda? No chance. Yeah, Arpa's there. She can talk for ED. That's your job. Yeah, except I can't be trusted, can I? A very clear message to pull my head in. Are you guys looking for Wendy? Um, She's due in any minute. So she hasn't shown up yet? No. Well, what about Vinny? He's got a late start, which is probably a good thing. Hey, is Wendy okay? What do you ask? I am. Um, I, I found this on one of the computers. <laughs> it is not funny, mate. What am I missing here? It's a private joke between Vinny and Wendy. I think it might have got that hand. Yeah, no kidding. Did you see any more of these anywhere? Uh-huh. On the drag room door and in the staff room. Oh. oh but don't say anything. I should be embarrassed. What's going on? Didn't I say goodbye to you two this morning? Oh, we missed you. They had a big night last night. I think they're still a bit drunk. Mm. Oh, we've come in search of food. 
Well, you won't find any up here. Well, I've ordered a couple of breakfasts at the cafe and I thought you might like to join us. I'm working. Yes, you are. Uh, I think uh, we may have killed a few brain cells last night. Yeah, week. maybe more than a few. Look, you guys go eat and I will see you later. This is station. That way. Maka? Mm. TK. No, great to meet you. Oh, dear no, hui. And enough of the matua makes me feel old. <laughs> As it Auntie Queenie. She's a character, isn't she? She's good. Right. Happy. And you're the head of this hospital's emergency department. Right. TK is also big on primary and preventative health. Important. We think so. Thank you. Well, that's why we're here, isn't it? To talk about what's best for the community, what Shortland Street can do for it. Why should we stay silent about what's needed at grassroots level? Why are you not speaking up? You're with Fana. Eddie doesn't have much of a voice around here. Um, it's a bit of a joke. You know, knowledge for him when my bosses won't listen to me. So I uh, choose my battles. Strategies, everything. <clears throat> hey, uh, sorry to interrupt, but we're about to start again. We should talk. Thank you. Battles? Strategy, what, are you declaring war? Uh, no, but maybe it is time I start rocking things up. I mean, if we're serious about future proofing, there's some hard facts that have to be heard. TK. You can't say them, but I can. If we play to our strengths, we're against a team. What, good cop, bad cop? No, I'll do the steering. Just follow through and smooth the waters with management. Oh, I see Pani has worked her magic again. I've woken up to myself. But the issue's been addressed. That's all I care about. I have to ask you something. Promise you won't laugh. I won't. Only you know how insecure I can be. Please see what's wrong. Okay, so the last few days you've been really quiet. Is it because Alex and I are all happy couple? Is it really sick making? Don't be silly. It's nice to be around happy people. So we're all good? We're all good. You're happy? Of course we are. <laughs> oh, these are good. Put them away, will you? <laughs> oh, we were on fire. Remember that? I don't remember any of them. Look, give them here. I'm binning the lot of them before we get caught with the evidence. How's the hangover? What hangover? I never felt better. Yeah, with you I'd almost believe it. Murray must be suffering though. He's not used to your rock and roll way. Oh, he held his own, that's for sure. I don't want to know. Wendy. Morning. I got your note. What note? The one you left in the sluice room? Dear Vinny, I've done all your D.O.N. jobs for you. Shall I shove a broom up my... I didn't write that! Well, it's signed Love Wendy and there's only one Wendy in here and that's you. But this isn't even my handwriting. You know it isn't. It's mine. What? Um, I, it's not all Mother's fault. I told him what to write. I don't believe this. We were drunk. Uh, we had this stupid idea and, and no one to set us straight. What were you even doing in there? I mean, did you know about this? No. I'm sorry, mate. It doesn't mean anything. But chuck it away and forget it. I didn't think it sounded like you. Well, at least that's something. But then again, I don't know how you talk about me behind my back. Vinny, well, you must have said something, or else where did they get the idea? I told you, we were on the booze. We thought we were being funny. Can we talk about this upstairs? Sure. Now. Nothing by now, but I didn't think there was something more behind it. Okay. I might have mouthed off to Murray about feeling pressured at work. But I'm sure that you've gone home and said exactly the same sort of thing to Nicole. Yeah, and she tells me to pull my head in. Yeah, I mean, we all need a little vent now and then, but it doesn't mean I'm not happy overall. If anything, I've been enjoying the extra challenges. Yeah, and I've only been leaning on you because I know you're up to it. I know. And you've had a heck of a time with Nicole and the baby. And I've been happy to step up and help, honestly. It must be frustrating, though. Sometimes. Well, see, now we're getting somewhere. I don't know what you want me to say. You're looking for a problem where there isn't one. Okay. Tell Murray, thank you. You haul me up here for a telling off and now you're practically apologizing. No, I mean it. Murray made me realize something that I kind of already knew. Look, I've been depending on you too much and it stops now. In the last few years, we've seen a boom in surgical tourism, uh, but we've never lost our focus in serving the local community. That said, the surgical department can't claim to have all the answers. Just the funding. 
Uh, we know there's a big need for preventative campaigns. Target the right people soon enough with the right message and there'll be a lot less need for us. Thank you, Boyd. Which leads us nicely on to... Excuse me. Ticket. I, uh, I know we're here to talk about the future, but um, I'm not sure how we can do that without acknowledging the past. Maybe it's a Maori thing, eh? <laughs> 20 years ago, um, the Shortland Street was a humble emergency clinic. Over the years, it's changed and grown. And so has Ferndale. Population's nearly doubled. The ethnic mix is different. There are more migrants, more Pacific Islanders, and a hell of a lot more have-nots than haves. Way too many of them with brown skin. But one thing that hasn't changed is ED. And you may think that's a good thing. But uh, we're still here 24 hours doing what we've always done. But here's the kicker. The hospital's grown. Ferndale's grown. ED hasn't. We're still working with the same basic resources and staff numbers we had the day I walked in here. People take it for granted, and they do. And it's a credit to us. And I'll take the compliment. But eventually, something has to give. Kia ora. Oh, uh-oh. Thoughts are Code Brown. <laughs> Give them here. No, 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 I got it. Are you sure? That is above and beyond. Please, I've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen anyone beg to change a nappy. Uh, hey, don't knock it. <laughs> His things are in the bedroom, thank you. You guys do seem really good together. We are. So good. But you can't be honest with her. She's going to find out somehow whether you want her to or not. And it's going to sound a lot worse coming from one of your exes than it would from you. That won't happen. You think? All it takes is Joe and Lucy to cross paths at the IV. If he's really the lover scorned that you make him out to be, what's holding him back? If you're not ashamed, then why are you scared of telling her? Sorry, a uh, cough. I'll get you one. This fellow's one to watch. He is, isn't he? Excuse me. You in the dog box? <laughs> I don't know, am I? No, not at all. You had Rachel before. She said you made some good point. <laughs> That's in front of an audience. You should see behind closed doors. I think you'd be surprised. Anyway, it was nice to meet you. Huh? Tell you something my wife told me when I was dithering about standing for council. Be the change you want to see in the world. I remember that one. Yes, I won't hear the end of it, no. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> well. Hey. Marcus' wife must be as pushy as you are. Hey! <laughs> Seriously, thank you. Well, you're welcome. <clears throat> All right, let's hear it. T.K. Samuel's vision for the future? Yep. Bigger, better ED. More training, more equipment, more respect. I remember a scrappy little Māori boy telling the world he was going to make a difference. I remember you laughing at me. And look where we are now. You see what happens when you think big? Hear that? Wendy's car. You want me to make myself scarce? Don't you dare. You're in this as deep as I am. Hey, hi. Vinny says thank you. Hey? What for? Making him realise that he couldn't expect me to do his job for him. Broom or no broom, or words to that effect. So I'm back to being a humble rank and file nurse. No more delusions of management for this girl. Never say never. One day maybe. Oh, when Vinny decides to get out of the way or Nicole decides to be a stay-at-home mum, it won't happen. Well, the way you're talking, you're making it sound like... Shawlan Street's the only hospital in the world. And if I can't get any further up the ladder there, then what are my chances anywhere else? No, Vinny has done me a favour. I've been kidding myself that he needs me more than he does. No harm done then? No. I'm just back in the same rut that I thought I was going to climb my way out of. What about a career change? Well, that's radical. Well, have you thought about it? Yeah. In the lift on the way up to the nurse's station with Vinny this morning when he looked like he wanted to fire me. No, I don't want a new career. What about a new hairdo? What are you saying? No, no, it's fine the way it is. I'm, yeah, I mean, but if you wanted to change it, you could. Well, stay the bloody obvious, why don't you? No, no, just listen. I mean, there are things in life that we can change. There are some things we can't change. Uh, what is it? Uh, God uh, uh, grant us the wisdom to know the difference. I read it somewhere. It was on a poster. Oh, not on a post-it note. <laughs> no, no. See, look, there's more to life than work, OK? So if you're stuck in a rut there, you make changes somewhere else. So you try bungee jumping or, or karate or... Join the Ferndale Operatic Society. 
increase your funding is to take it from another department. Well, I'm sure you can find fat to trim somewhere. Painlessly and without buying myself a fight? Actually, I don't really care where you get the money from. Yeah, I got that. But you did say you'd make Edie a priority. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. But there's only so much oil in the can. Did I promise to make all your dreams come true? I don't think so. <clears throat> Where did you disappear to this morning? Uh, Murray and I had some urgent business to take care of. At the hospital? You should ask your mum. It's quite a funny story. And what was so urgent yesterday that you lied to me about <sighs> having to work? Are you going to let me in? I've got bubbles. Not until you answer my questions. Right. Okay, I, mean, I understand you're upset, okay? And I, I get why. Good. But uh, try and look at it this way. Um, Murray and I are getting on, so that, that works out well for us in the long run, don't you think? Not if you want to spend more time with him than me. Okay, well, where am I now? Whose doorstep am I standing on begging to be let in? He, he lied to me, Jimmy. And that's the part that hurts the most. I think you should go. No, no, don't be like this. Come on. I mean, we never get to spend any time together. Yeah, well, you had your chance last night and you didn't want it. I'm shutting the door now. I'll see you when I see you. Oh, hey, you guys are still here. She couldn't get rid of us. I didn't want to. Oh, Vinny, you shot. Yeah, I sure did, and there's more in the car. Hey, can I help? Yeah, yeah, thanks, mate. Boots open. Then we should go. You don't have to. Yeah, we do. Lucy has to go home and get changed. What for? I'm not taking you out to dinner with baby slobber on your shirt. Wait, why are we going out for dinner? We're meant to be on a budget. There's something I want to talk to you about. We can talk at my place. Alex, let him take you out for dinner. He wants to. You know something, don't you? No. You do. I might. What does he want to tell me? You'll find out. It's nothing bad. Uh, hey, no, 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 not the other. Well, where are they? Where I can reach them. Thank you for a successful day. Debrief over. Really? That's it? Yeah, my head is about to explode. Some of us still have work to do. I've called Victoria in for a meeting. Tonight? Why not offer her a surgical registrar position? Assuming you've got no objection. I thought you'd order your place, Garrett. Mm, this would be on top of. As long as the budget allows. Here's a point. Uh, will you still be able to afford that 3D printer? What 3D printer? Uh, we came in under budget in a couple of areas. And he thought he'd reward himself with a new toy. It's not a toy. It's a very useful teaching tool. Oh. <laughs> he did could do with a whole new toolkit. <laughs> but when Harper here miraculously managed to find money in our budget, the savings went straight back into general funds. I didn't get to go shopping. He has a point. Did I complain? No. Great, I couldn't do that. Well, you're complaining now. It's all you do these days. Guys, please. We're still waiting for the Roper donation to come through. You can have a registrar or a printer, not both. I don't think I've seen that dress before. If you have, it was on Rachel. She gave it to me a while ago. She said it didn't fit her properly, but I think she just took pity when she saw my wardrobe. Maybe she knew how stunning you'd look. I'll ask about our table. Thank you, out, hot star. <laughs> I thought I'd better make the effort. Your brother insisted we go out tonight. Special occasion, is it? All I know is he has something he wants to tell me. Sounds ominous. I hope not. We've been overplaying with Pelly, and he and Nicole have been whispering all day, but she promises that it's good. Man, <laughs> he's a fast worker. What? Alex. Oh, you haven't noticed the bulge in his pocket? What? <laughs> A ring box shaped bulge? Get your mind out of a gutter. Are you saying Alex is going to propose? That's my brother. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Lucy. See you later, sis. When I said fight the good fight, I didn't think your next move would be sabotaging someone else. They had it coming. They? So it's not just Boyd you've got it in for? I don't have it in for anyone, but there's got to be a level playing field or I'm not doing the best by our patients. We have to stand up for ourselves. Sure, bring it on, follow your dreams. But do you have to drag everyone else down in the process? Well, if that's what it takes, and apparently it does, Rachel's words, not mine. What? The only way she can give to ED is by taking it from somewhere else, and she won't do that without a push. What, from you? Yeah. I'm sick of being second best, and I'm sick of playing nice and not getting what I want and not getting half of it. It's a mugs game. So if your boyfriend's upset, just tell him I'm moving up. 
Thank you. So, what do you feel like? <clears throat> the risotto is always good. D to be honest, I won't be able to eat anything until you've said what it is you want to say. Now I'm having second thoughts. Alex. No, no. I'm going to say it. I I'm just not sure about the venue. It's good enough for me. I, I mean, maybe this is something we should talk about in private. If you're going to dump me, please do not do No. Me. I'm not. Of course I'm not. <gasps> I want to be with you. No, I do. I've never wanted anything more in my life. Me either. But there's something you need to know about me. I'm sure there's lots of things we're still learning about each other. Be before I was with you, I was with other people. <laughs> Guess what? I'm not a virgin either. Other men? Yeah. No. I've slept with other men. How many? Does it matter? I don't know. Have you been with other women? No. So you're telling me you're gay? No, no, I'm not. I was. You were, and now you're not. Now I'm with you. And I've never been happier. When you say you've slept with men, is that all it was? Just, uh, just sex? Is... I've had one proper boyfriend. We broke up last year. How long were you together? Nine months. But then I realised I didn't feel that way anymore. You were right. This... This is not the place. Lucy! Did he actually say the words, I'm gay? He said he wasn't. Sometimes love. She's who I want to be with. I love her. Isn't enough. I've been kidding myself that I'm in love with them. I don't even... Frank, exchange of ideas for the future of this hospital. So just how free and frank do you want us to be? Free, frank and constructive. No whinging, please. All right, so we can say anything we like as long as it's positive, but it's not a marketing exercise. Look, I think TK is concerned about some of the issues that we've been facing in ED. Are they for discussion or not? Yeah, of course. As long as the DHB don't get the impression we're not coping. <gasps> Hi. Over there, please. Meaning we don't want to make senior management look incompetent. Harper, I hope I can count on you to. That's where we were. Oh, hello. Good morning. Glad you're here. I want to talk to you about yesterday. Oh, I can't wait. Your old man wants a word. Oh. Hi. You wanted to talk to me? No. Harry! Where are you going? Uh, level two, mate. Go on. You know you want to. No, I can't afford it. Well, but I can. It's enormous. Are you still going to love me when I'm the size of a house? You're sharing with me. Am I? I am so generous. <laughs> That's my Lucy. Well, those two still seem to be going strong. Yeah. Oh, come on, Nick. Look, it's their business, not ours. That's my point. Alex's sexuality is Lucy's business. Okay, so when did you start becoming the type to judge, eh? Look, you've done all you can, all right? Just let him be. Hey. Hey. Oh, this is an all speak up. Yes, of course. I know you'll be diplomatic. Oh, that's the only way. Where do we start? Oh, I remember getting in the lift. That's helpful. Do you remember where you got out? No, it's all a bit of a blur. Well, it must be in the nurse's station. Oh, well, that's easy then. Not easy. There's one on every level. No. Uh, what are you doing? Find out where Wendy is rostered. But that's where Vinnie left the note for her. Yeah, that's Vinnie. Yeah, well, don't answer it. Hi, Vinnie. Uh, no actual set plans. You had planned spending time with your husband. He treats her like his personal slave. Oh, stop. Hey, King. Advantage. Oh, sweet drink last night. What's that? Vinny, Wendy is not your doormat. Oh, oops. We're all clear on what today's for. It's a knowledge forum, and that's exactly what it needs to be. It's not a marketing exercise. We're not trying to prove anything. All I'm looking for is a free and 